Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and we're doing this video in my car and I just picked up myself some lunch. I literally came back from the eye doctor, no, not the eye doctor, the dentist because I got my teeth like cleaned and everything, but I did get myself a pizza. Oh, this looks so good. I wanted to like just kind of chat about everything I learned in 2022. So 22 things I learned in 2022. I got a new camera for Christmas. I got the Sony ZV-1 at first and I didn't like it. So we returned to that and I picked up a new one from Best Buy, the Sony ZV-E10. I'm loving it. That's what I'm filming on obviously right now. It is so nice. The picture is so much better and the sound is so much better. We're gonna do a nice little chit chat. Last video of 2022. And I'm gonna start out by saying that 2022 was pretty, pretty rough year for me. And I have everything on my phone here. And then I also have my goals for 20. 2023 saved on my photos so i might talk a little bit about those okay maybe i don't have those i thought i did but i do remember a couple like, we're gonna eat this pizza because i'm hungry even though i just got my teeth cleaned it's fine mm, this is good i need to eat this pizza quick it's not really stuck in my teeth anymore i'm just gonna film this video before i finish the rest of it i had one piece that was so good probably not the best idea after i got my teeth cleaned but it's okay i had beautiful teeth by the way i'm gonna be doing my best to not look at myself this camera the viewfinder is next to it instead of above like my canon one so i keep looking at myself and it's so hard not to but i'm working on it i it's a new camera first thing i'm filming so if i look to the side it's because i'm looking at myself and i really need to stop with that i want to make this kind of short 22 things i've learned in 2022 i'm in my grandparents car by the way because my car's in at school okay first thing i will never ever not love cheerleading or like not want to do it like i'm never gonna not want to keep cheering myself simply because i'm fully done with all-star i'm never gonna not miss it like it's like part of me like i can't ever forget about it like i love it so much and it's so hard not to be cheering myself anymore like i love all-star cheerleading so much I, it's just so hard so that's the first thing i learned i can never like never eat gluten again i had a really bad night on christmas eve eve found out i was severely constipated again and it's because of gluten I have so many stomach issues, but I can never eat gluten again. That's one other thing I've learned. I would cheat a lot, but I can't do it. I can't do it at all. I've been good the last week, so. I've learned I'm an introvert and I love being alone. And that brings me into my next thing, that spending time alone is not always a good thing. I definitely closed myself off a lot towards the end of the year. Well, this last quarter at school, and it has been very hard, but... I just learned that I really am an introvert and need to be alone a lot, but it's hard because that's not always a good thing. Some of these have not a lot of explanation and I don't want to get into explanation. Shopping is therapy, but at the same time, I love and hate spending money. Like I love spending it, but then I regret it after it's like buyer's remorse kind of thing. But like shopping is therapy. Like when I'm sad, I go shopping and I feel better. I don't know. Like those things don't really make sense to me because I love, I love going out and spending money, but I hate the feeling like after, like I hate the fact that I spent money. Okay, this one, if you know this quote, exercise gives you endorphins, endorphins make you happy legally blonde i didn't finish it off endorphins make you happy happy people don't shoot their husbands l woods legally blonde sure, i took the first part of it because i had to figure out a way to like work out and like stay active myself and i realized that exercise really does like help me like emotionally mentally like physically like it helps me in so many ways it's just motivating myself to do it i do love working out though my mom is my best friend out of everyone my mom is my best friend i know that for a fact and that this year kind of helped me with that helped me realize it more and i guess just like it helped me with things i don't love going out like the common sense of going out i'm a dinner and lounge kind of girl like i like to go to a nice dinner get dressed up and stuff just like everything in moderation i don't love to like go out you know if you get what i mean i do it to be with friends but i don't know i have a hard time like with it and that will bring me to another thing that kind of makes more sense too like i like a nice lounge place it's just like i'm not a big going out person for like a party like clubbing kind of vibe you know that's not who i am whatsoever and i definitely realized that this year like okay getting dressed up for anything changes like the vibes just like getting dressed up cute outfit fancy whatever the like what you're doing just like getting dressed up makes it so much more fun like so much more fun i'm definitely terrified of my future or like the future like what's to be what's to come in the future and just like after college like i'm only a sophomore and i have two more years but like i can't help that that's in the back of my mind and that like scares me and it's just like hard to not think about routines are essential for my sanity i guess for sanity of anyone but like for me personally i need a routine to live like that's kind of why going out is hard for me because like i can't stick to to my routine i don't know i'm very 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 big on routines it's just like so hard for me to not have one i thought i was better at cooking than i am not that i'm bad at it but i don't have a variety of recipes i would say i'm a very picky eater i really can't eat gluten at all so it, it makes it hard and that's something i want to improve in a year but i've definitely learned
better at that. I'm not as good as I thought I was. That was just something I learned like from having like my new apartment and stuff. These are all very different like going off of, like they're not all going off of each other like they're just random. Everyone grew up differently. They see things differently. They think differently. They live different lives. And that concept is strange to me and I think I it college has helped me realize that because growing up in like one area for your whole life everyone really is kind of similar and then you go to college and everyone is so so different. It's like so crazy that people like live different lives. That concept alone is strange to me that everyone's their own person. I don't know how to like describe it but it's strange. But like that's kind of self-explanatory like everyone lives different things. They think have different thoughts like it's just like crazy that there's that many people in the world and like that's I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's just so strange to me but like that's something I learned because like getting along with those kind of people and on that note my way is not always the only way. Like I said people live differently and I think my way has to be the way all the time and like the right way and I'm working on this because I still think this like I think I'm the right person not necessarily always but like my way is pretty much the best so I don't know I have to like acknowledge that other people live lives like that sounds really like self-centered but like everyone thinks like this they think everyone's way is the best way and like that's something that's really hard to adjust to and like open up to like other people and, and have like compromises and things like that so that's really something I've been working on and learning this year it's just been a year it's easier said than done for anything this is something someone tells you advice it's easier to say it not do it maybe yourself or the other person you're giving it to I don't know for me I keep saying I'm gonna keep vlogging I'm gonna vlog in public and wherever I am that is easier said than done it's so much easier said than done for me I have so much anxiety that I never realized I had and I it's so hard to do so I don't know I'm working on that and just like doing things without not necessarily without thinking about them but without thinking like overthinking them I'm a neat freak complete neat freak like when I'm home it's not as bad because like it's not my house it is but it's not like my own place in Savannah yes I share my space with roommates but I am so like freaked out about like all the cleaning and like I'm just so insane about this stuff I don't know why but it's like when I have my own space like my own like apartment to clean and like stuff like that like I'm so crazy about that stuff even in my dorm room I was like I, I don't know what it is I'm just like such a neat freak you could say um not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever this one's a given I mean it's pretty like understandable but it's hard to like not let go of people but like not that I had a lot of people to not to not be friends with anymore I guess but like I just have to realize that some people I used to be friends with like aren't gonna be friends anymore like I haven't seen in years things like that so it's just like a, something I've been like understanding more this year than any since I've been away for like a year and a half from like my hometown pretty much like I don't see those people anymore just a couple of them independence is a blessing I'm gonna be home for a total of six and a half weeks in my break so I go back in a week I've been home for like five and a half weeks it's been a long time and I realize how grateful I am to have so much independence and live on my own in another state because it is so not hard but like I now have my own way of life somewhere else and I have to come back and I go back to like how I lived in high school I'm not saying I had a bad like growing up like I had a great life I had so much independence already but it's just different like it's such a different sense and it's crazy how I don't know I just don't have control of a lot of things here that I do in Savannah so it's just so different and I don't know it just made me realize that mental health is so important I had the worst like fall quarter I'm not saying it's awful but like mentally like I wasn't doing good and we thought it was just because of medications I've been on and stuff so I am doing a lot better now but I don't know I've just had a hard like couple months and I realized how important it is to like deal with your mental health and like I never saw a therapist and I want to in the new year but I don't know I just had a hard couple months it just made me realize how important it is okay last three I'm on number 20 spending time with people who make you happy is essential and I'm not narrowing this down to like family or friends because family and friends don't always make you happy and me either I'm sure everyone feels like this so I just like think that spending time with people that make you happy it doesn't matter who just whoever makes you happy it just like makes you feel so much better time lies I'm gonna be 20 years old next year 20 years old I'm a sophomore in college I live on my own it feels like it was the beginning of this year like yesterday like I feel like I was at world's last week and I just you know time goes by so fast and I never realized it time does not make sense to me but that's another topic okay and lastly 22 enjoy the time that you have because you need to make the best of it and I definitely need to be better at that making the best of like the time that is now I need to enjoy my college years and sometimes it's hard because all I want to do is stay home by myself but next year going into my goals right away I need to push myself out of my comfort zone that's like my big big one like I want to do something daily to push myself out of my comfort zone which seems a little crazy because I feel like after a while those things are going to be normal to me I want to vlog like daily vlogging all the time no matter where I am like I want to show everything and it's hard because that makes me anxious but the more I do it the more comfortable I'll be you know and I just want to like meet so many more people I have a lot of other goals like health and fitness wise I want like a workout plan I want a meal plan not plan necessarily but like have a general idea for my meals each week and kind of prep stuff out I want to journal more I want to find a new therapist I feel like it would just be so beneficial to 
like have someone to go to constantly so I don't ever get to like the feeling I was in the fall which that was like other causes but at the same time like I'm sure someone talking to about it would help and I have such a hard time talking to a random person about my feelings I've done therapy twice and it's been hard so I feel like if I find someone new start fresh it could be better I kind of forget everything else I think I had some random ones about like like self-care kind of things I just want to make sure I get my hair done every two months it makes me feel so much better it gets me out of my place to go sit and do something for a little bit and just kind of chill out zone out same thing with a facial I need to get facials every six weeks first of all that helps my skin immensely and it lets me like decompress and just relax so just like some little things like that and I forget what else I said oh I want for YouTube like social media and stuff I want to really take TikTok more, more seriously I'm not so super good at coming up with ideas for videos on that so like I would just want to try to post like maybe three times a week and then I want to like post weekly to bi-weekly it's like weekly or every other or like every two weeks on Instagram so maybe like four posts a month I just want to really be better at like posting on Instagram and like going out and taking pictures and having fun I just want to take more pictures in general I don't take pictures ever usually people send them to me like I don't really remember and I need to need to be better at that because sometimes I'm like I don't really want to take a picture right now it's awkward you know but like who cares and I it's easier said than done like I said to just say that and rather than do it that's something I really 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 want to work on but yeah I think that was most part my general goals I have a lot of other personal goals like finance wise those are kind of like some goals mostly about what I learned this year because it was a year for sure it was a year that's like what I'm gonna leave it at I, I like looking looking back at my year and seeing like what I learned I feel like that's a valuable thing and it'll help me like grow for next year so I'm gonna be 20 next year I cannot believe that it's just insane to me like I'm that old so I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video my last one of 2022 and 2023 we're gonna come back stronger and way better than I was because my video videos have been awful the last couple months so I apologize but I was kind of posting stuff to post it and the perfectionist in me doesn't like that but I was doing it just to get stuff up I just want to thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys had a happy holiday season I hope you have a happy new year thank you all for your support I absolutely adore every one of you so I want to say thank you guys so much I hope you guys like this camera because I'm obsessed with it and if I looked at myself a lot next to the camera I apologize but I'm gonna go eat this pizza I've been talking for 22 minutes I'm starving and I will see you guys on my next video Bye guys, happy new year.